Hi and welcome to my live stream and I'm going to be continuing with the tale of the lost brother which I was playing yesterday uh, and I managed to do chapter one. Uh, there's two chapters in this. Uh, so the first chapter was saving my friend from prison, um, Vashti or whatever her name was. Um, but now I have to save her brother and I think this um, the last episode there was minimal enemies but I think this time we're uh, going to get a little bit more full on with uh, some encounters. Um, want to show one thing uh, which came for me today which is pretty awesome. Um, I got me another um, print. Which is awesome. So this needs another. This needs a frame. I, I need to frame up so many of these prints. Like I got, um, I got a whole folder full of these things, and I just haven't got around to framing any of them yet. Um, just need to find the right size frames. So I might have to get some custom made and stuff, um, because trying to find them in a regular store is a pain in the ass. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to continue on with. Tale of the Lost Brother and see where we go from here. Load a chapter. Chapter 2. Right, so we have this horse <laughs> which is very static. Uh, anyone who did watch the uh, the live stream uh, yesterday would have seen that this horse is actually a reskin of, I guess, the motorbike um, from Tomb Raider 4. And yeah, it's a bit crazy. Uh, I don't think I've got anything I can give this guy. I can give su <laughs> the sugar cubes are, I guess, a reskin of a key. Um, so I've got plenty of bread. Got a few survival kits. Spyglass. I got the staff, which is the uh, rocket launcher, essentially. Hey, Mr. Xenomorph. Um, yeah, so the the staff is basically a rocket launcher in this. Although it looks like Jafar's staff from um, Aladdin. And I got the dual pistols, so that's pretty much all the equipment I got. Um, got Magnum ammo, but I have no... Uh, this level's been popular. That's good. That's good. Um, it, it's got it had a good rating, which is why I downloaded it, so... Um, I was hoping, I mean the first chapter was good, um, I only really got kind of stuck on one section to be honest. Um, so these pink guys, they're all friendlies. In one of the other levels they were actually enemies, um, but I think if I aim my gun at them they will start attacking uh, and then I can completely screw up um, an objective. If there is any objectives which require uh, those guys, such as you know, giving them an item or whatever, I'm just going to save my game. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going. I've never seen the walkthrough for any of this, so just kind of learning as I go along. That kind of sucks. So OBS giving you giving you trouble. Just gonna save this here. I have a feeling this is probably my way back up as opposed to my way down. But we'll see. Looks like something down there, so I want to, I want to investigate the lower section first. Thanks, cutscene. Oh, you just beat your third, third playthrough of Alien Isolation. Awesome. 
and second time on Nightmare. That's good going. I mean, I went pansy, but that's just for my first run. So I can't get in. Oh, actually, I probably can get in there because there's a. The ladder goes around to the side. So let me. Let me squeeze my way into here first. But yeah, I will get back into alien isolation. Um, oh, what's this? Sands of time. At least do a bit more of alien isolation. Um, you know, another s stream at least. Okay. Kinda sucked. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to try and squeeze my way through this little gap here. She will go in, that's good. Can't see anything. Oh, there's a lever. I want to do the rest of the game, yes. Um, just obviously, I will. Um, probably pace it out a little bit more than what other people probably have done where they just literally just play that like you just done with your uh, <laughs> your playthrough just now um, but I will get there because it would be a bit of a shame to just kind of leave it part way through right. time to explore more of these uh this area here. Is that a little cave? No. So whatever this is. Oh. that and uh, yeah whatever <laughs> whatever's going on in with that platform hopefully this is a push button yeah Sounds cool. I have no idea where that door was though. Let's look up. Yeah, I have no idea where that door was. <laughs> Must be at the very top. But at least I did things in the right order. I'm away right to the top because uh, I might be able to get to the other side and grab uh, grab hold of uh, the platform unless I can walk my way around the top here somehow. Save my game here. I can walk around here. Interesting. I'm curious as to whether there's anything 
stuck over that side that I might be missing. So if I save my game, if I die or if it's a waste of time, I can just reload and come back over here. Snap. Okay, maybe there's nothing up there. Just looks interesting. So let's run over this way. Now I'm interested in what's in that cave there. Intrigued as to where I would go from here. That's too far a jump over there. So maybe it is down. Ha. Ah, what's this? Those zombies, all, zombies, those camels all sound like zombies. Right, there's the door. Sorted. Right, let's have a look through this way. Just light, weird cobweb like light. Um, anything? I'm curious as to when I'll get a magnet. Curious as to when I'll get a magnum because um I should technically get one soon. Because I got a got the ammo. It's an interesting little place. Long old cutscene for a oh crap. I assume that was supposed to happen. I thought it went black. Okay, so that was supposed to happen. <laughs> it wasn't just me. <laughs> Oh look, I can kill Leopard Man without any uh, trouble. That's just one of the uh, legendary beasts that are in the Persia pack. I don't know if they can set the HP, but I'm in a safe spot. I've got nothing else to take him down with other than my dual pistols, so I might as well stay here and enjoy not getting whacked. 
until he goes down. Right. I'm using a different save slot just just on the off chance I've maybe missed something earlier. Oops. So I could have come out of anywhere and anywhere else would have probably given me death or less of an advantage against the old uh, big beast. So what did he drop? He dropped a scope. I wonder if that's for the Magnum. Because I know the Magnum has a, um, or the you know the general Magnum has a scope. What's this? Oh, it's just bones. It's good old bones. I'm going up here, and I, I'm probably going off course, and I should have gone. Right, I saved my game up there anyway. Right. Let's see. I've got a quick explore through here. See if that I've not missed anything. Otherwise, I can just load up my game and go no. back. No. Yeah, I'm sure that it's a reskin of a particular boss. He's got to be. No. Okay. Right, Lara says no, so no means no. And up we go. Okay, there's a little uh, sneaky cubby hole up here. Have a look. <laughs> Actually, I'm curious if she says that too. I never even thought about it. Surely she must. Okay, so this is not. I can't pick that up. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I wouldn't expect to pick it up, but I can't drag it. So. Uh, yeah, I can imagine Lara trying to pick that up. Be a bit of something, wouldn't it? Right, so these things are shiny. So what have we got? A gun? Yeah, we have a magnum, which I can combine with the scope. So now we've got laser sight magnum. And we have some magnum ammo. And that looks a little bit dangerous. <laughs> Put a large lamp. Which she, she like Mary Poppins. She she pretty much is though. She's got a Mary Poppins backpack. I swear. I know this is gonna kill me if I manage to do anything with it. Must be a switch. Must be a switch, and those things, things, those things, smash it, and there'll be something inside. A switch or something. I've got to shoot. Seeing as I just got the uh, magnum with special ammo, and well, not special ammo, um, with scope, and I wonder if it's that thing up there. Before I waste my before I waste my ammo, 
we see in Spanish, which is real turn up. What makes the lives even more? Ah, there you are. Right. I'm going to load my game so I don't waste another. You can hear them, right? Yeah, they just got home. They're always so loud. I wonder if that is... Yes, it is. See, that was quite an obvious uh, thing to shoot one at. Let's give this an old tug. Ha! Right. And this must be that dagger which I was on about in the last chapter, which I said I hadn't got so far. which the dagger is basically a crowbar which then must in turn they do have some very strange mechanisms some very awkward ways of um, getting items I mean, I would be really annoyed if I had to do that every single time I wanted to open the bleeding, um, you know, get through a door or get an item. Right, I'm going to open both doors. It's interesting that the... Um, you know that the crowbar got reskinned as the dagger, but the way it gets used, I would rather have just kept it as a crowbar, to be honest. Ooh, hello. Right, the other path seems to be a dead end. I like the music, but I'm going backwards, sorry. Because, I mean, the way it goes, if there's a dead end, you want to go that way first because it's like an item. Well, a sword would be even better. It'd be better than a knife because at least it's long. Okay, there's absolutely nothing in there. At least they tried. I do like this music though. Oh, now it gets dramatic. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Right. So we've got loads of water. Another door to crack open. Have I had any copyright notices? Um, not, I mean, there, yeah, there's one that's like, um, I think it was one of them had a piece of music which was um, had a claimant on it. But I don't monetize my videos, so it doesn't really matter. I don't, I'm not fussed by it. Um, it's not a strike to me. So um, it's just a, you know, a notice to say, um, that someone's going to monetize my video on my behalf because I'm using their music, which um, I mean, you could appeal it and you know deem fair use, whatever else. But I really don't have the uh, the effort to, to do that, to be honest. Right, so that's a no go. Let's check around the other side before I go in the water. 
I mean, I've got loads of other videos. I mean, there's ones which are like um, the Indiana Jones Lego one. I can't... Um, it's just got no audio on it whatsoever because of that. Um, I should have just played it without the or without the music, to be honest, which kind of loses its, you know, its style. But sometimes it's got to be done that way, I guess. If you want to have some volume, at least, you know, there would have been the sound effects still. Yeah. Is he coming at me? Haha! <laughs> Ouch. You can't get me. <laughs> it's funny how like the tiniest little obstacle in this game just can't. Oh, that's yeah, that's what it must be based on. Um, yeah, the tiniest little obstacle, <laughs> like that little ledge. They just can't get around. Right, it doesn't look like anything over that way. There must be something in here as that Minotaur dude. Now you've met some Minotaur, that's how I'm going to consider it being. Thing. Well, this seems a bit of a pointless set of stairs, to be honest. A set of stairs just to kind of go to a dead end and then you still have to climb up and out. Safe game. I think I'm going to be using the chandeliers. <laughs> I thought that was a... L I saw the the platform um, there. I just didn't see that it was a gap. Whoops. Right. Now... Save game. Let's see if it. Okay, so I am using the chandeliers. Alright, so that's the door to open. might be somewhere I had to go but I guess not hoping this isn't a crumbly platform no it's not thankfully this person whoever designed this level has not been using um, many of those kind of traps
Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to get four hourglasses. None of these are uh, items that I've got. Oops. I guess the sand of the time is not for any of this then. Which case it could mean <laughs> I've got to go all the way down the um, down into the water into the bottom, work my way back up here later because I don't see any other route up here. So if I save my game on save slot one, I was meant to have dived. So just wait, they would have used a snake or one of those snake things or something. It's one of the levels that I played like to use the um, those water snake things. Which I don't remember there being water snakes in Tomb Raider The Last Revelation, so I'm not sure what they're based on. Maybe, like, alligators or something? They seem about long enough to be that. Right, so I'm going under there. Trim. One of the great things about this level is there's, um, I mean, it's good, oh, okay, that's just a door. It's good and it's bad, is the fact that there's um, no secrets. It's good because it means they don't have to go secret hunting while I'm playing. Okay, this isn't a door, okay. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. Right, let's work my way back over to the other side. There's um, steps over there with those two statues. Let's see what this has to offer. Hopefully something. pack and some more bloody bullets um uh the <laughs> Right, I laugh now, but wait until they all climb back up here. Somehow. Hopefully they've all drowned. Right. Maybe I'm looking for more of those... Um, stingies that I shot earlier. Oh, there's a lever there. I just see it. Haha! -ha. I know where you are. Hopefully it's not timed. This is definitely a, a good set of um, of levels, and I can't really say. I mean, because I've only recently just got into playing the uh, level editor levels, the custom levels, so um, I can't really be a good judge to compare. Um, 
but I will say that this Persia set has been pretty good for the levels that I've played so far. Ah, there's those snakes that I was talking about. Right, I need somewhere to climb out. Like here. one of them down. That was painful. Those snakes are painful. There you go. Come back. I mentioned those snakes just a minute ago and told said that they were deadly. I, I, I'm not sure if they're like <laughs> if they're like reskins of crocodiles or something. But they don't seem too friendly. Right, this doesn't look too nice a puzzle either. That looks like it's going to be flames. Holy... Is this timed, I wonder? Because if it's not timed... Nope, that's not going to work. I'll have that. I don't know where that's going. I could have done without the fire, to be honest. Some interesting music. Yeah, if I recall, there's um, there's two parts to it. One's um, I know one's for the actual level creator, and isn't there something to do with like the reviewers as well? Like some incentive for reviewing. Right, let's get up here. And 
and up here. Let's get back to the top. Let's get back to my... Uh, I think I'm going to have to go, keep going up the top because there's going to be one hourglass at a time by the looks of things. Unless... It's more like what I've just done where there's a lever or something somewhere that opens up the door. Just looking to see if there's anything that I need to shoot. Like in the center of that square or something. Don't look like it. It's either a lever or something else hidden somewhere. I mean, I'll also try the um, just popping in the hourglass. Because I mean, it could be a case that uh, I just stick in the hourglass and that works. But I have a feeling that seeing as I got the um, ammo for the Magnum, there's going to be another thing to shoot. Test it in a bit. If I pop one of these in for starters, I might do the one next door to this one. That'll either open a door. Nope. Right, so that means I'm gonna have to find levers. bit like that one there. Now the ammo was collected here. So I wonder if there's something that I can shoot from. Near here. So I have a feeling it might be another one of those um, orbs inside the face again. I guess they haven't touched Egypt because I guess Egypt's the default pack for um, the last revelation plus it's a place that's been used a heck of a lot in the two Raider games so I can understand why they might not want to use it I mean I like the Egypt theme but yeah they might not want to regurgitate on what has already been done before you know, so many times. Hmm. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Um, just checking in these flowers. Yeah, that's that's what I thought it would be. Um, default stuff so as opposed to reskins and um, you know something a little bit fresher <laughs> regurgitate yeah spewing up the same old stuff It's 
got to be a shooty shooty somewhere. But where? Okay, and then what we go? Unless there's a, another lever, which I don't think there is. I think it would just be the one lever for the underwater door. I think there'll be um, a lever on the wall. Haha. -ha. I mean. That's probably the most interesting weapon. The um, rocket launcher or grenade launcher staff. Where is that shooting thing? I, I know there's got to be one because I said so. <laughs> um. There's also going to be, I reckon, I reckon there'll be at least one, I, I think it'll be a wall lever, um, one of those, um, you know, high up wall levers, the ones we've got to grab hold of. Um, and there'll be at least one shooting um orb thing or something I've got to shoot to open up one of the doors I'm just not sure how obvious the that particular thing would be right so we've been down this side we're done we're expended it um where I came in um, nothing on any of those walls nothing on that wall and nothing on that wall I'll check inside that room in a second. Nothing along there. Okay. So let's check in here. Anything on the walls? Is there anything on the ceiling? Any levers? Nope. Nope. Okay, back up here we go. There's one thing that does leave me a little bit curious, and that's to do with the um, the two chandeliers on the far side to here. I can't help but... Th Aha, there you are. Right, so that's the one the door opposite here I believe nope which door is it from the one downstairs right so if that's from the one downstairs
Just looking to see if any of these side slopes have a lever that you got to grab hold of at the end. Oh, so they're doing ATR. I mean, I haven't actually seen or caught up with that news about TR4. I know there's the TR2 one that's in the um, on the go, which is looking pretty, pretty cool. Um, I didn't know they were looking to do Tomb Raider 4 as well, or someone was looking to do Tomb Raider 4. That's pretty sweet. Well, it definitely wasn't that door from across the street, so fine, we're down here now. Hopefully, the door that I think it was. Hoping it's this door here. Yeah. Haha. Because he can't, <laughs> he can't attack me from down from there. Ah! I kind of got myself stuck. <laughs> Shite! I was trying to jump backwards, but she just kept jumping up. He's angry, look at that. Such rage. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to use up one of these um, kits. I could have had some bread, I guess. Try and check the uh, that raid in the globe. Out. Um. Yes, I have. Um, I remember playing the. I played the trilogy of games, and I played that um, kind of updated one. that's a little bit more like the movie kind. The only one I didn't play, which I actually really wanted to play but I never did, was the kind of cell shaded one. I see you ladder. Shaking that ass. <laughs> no, she can't shoot me. Yes, she can shoot me. Eventually. Right. No. This must be like this for a reason. Huh? 
Surely it must be like this for a reason. Or am I just literally going to go around it in a circle? Thanks, camera angle. Right, time to explore. Wouldn't surprise me if this has got one of those, some of those um, knights as um, guardians of the realm. Exploring the floor level first, and then I'll scout for bleeding levers. Well, I hope they're not bleeding. That'd be rather grim. I also remember playing the original Prince of Persia game. Um, before Sands of Time come out, which was pretty tough that I remember. I don't even think I ever beat it. To be honest, I don't. I, if I recall, I remember. I think I read that it wasn't. It didn't even have an an ending because the game was broken and was never ever fixed. So we have, we have a place with doorways. I wonder if they've got to be shot. I save my game in save slot three. Try this. I'm not sure why I would want to shoot it, to be honest. This doesn't look like there's anything in the mouth. Or... No. Waste. Waste of time. Can't pull, push, or do anything with it. Invited you into my party. Oh, hang on, I think I found somewhere I can hide. He's angry again. This guy's massively pissed. Huge health point. Yeah, what's the point of wasting staff ammo when I've got um Although I guess it could be fun. Oh, go away. Hehe. <laughs> Oh. 
what has become of him. Right. And now I've got an awesome staff on my back. Nice, so that's that. And this is... to get onto that platform. Right, how high is this platform? Oh, can I push it the once? But yeah, I could have just not wasted that ammo and just um, pistoled them to pieces from my little safe spot. Right. I'm going to try one thing first. I'm not supposed to do that. What I want you to do is go back to the edge. Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to go all the way up the ra <laughs> the long way, the way that I came down. It's kind of disappointing. I was hoping she would do the um uh, that grapple up thing, you know, the the jump that she does when she's in a uh, shibby hole. Oh well. Right, so let's keep going. Right, so I've got two more doors to... No, actually, I think one more door to open because I've got one more hourglass to get after this. So that one must be uh, must either be another lever somewhere. Right, there's the hourglass. Ooh. So the other door that we need to open, I think, is the one at the top. So I'm going to make my way back up and see if there's anything that I've maybe missed. I should maybe save my game as well. Nice music. Dude. Right, so we've got that lever. Right, so it's that door opposite me now. That I need to, uh, I think I need to open. So I think the one down the bottom is pretty much suited for once you get all the hourglasses in place. Right, so that doesn't have. doesn't have any levers directly in view but let's look at the ceiling up here no thought I would check you know right, 
so I'm kind of scouting around for either something to shoot or another lever to hang and grab that's in there nothing along there by the looks of things nope nothing down there and nothing along there okay Nothing along any of those. Anything to shoot. No. So I'm gonna do a runner to this one. Anything to shoot here? Don't think so. No levers to grab hold of. She can grab hold of that. I don't really fancy having to climb all the way back up again. Although I did save my game, so I'm saved in that respect. Hmm. Shoot here. Let me just check these statues. Yeah, they've not got anything special. Oh my god, why did she jump? Um Let's get back up the top. Cause I'm gonna try and shoot something in the middle of that square nope waste of a bullet it's got to be a lever Got to be.
Hmm. So this is where I get stumped. Just one small thing. And it's probably somewhere where I've been numerous times. Somewhere I've been numerous times. I've seen it and just haven't put the two and two together. Or just not paid attention and see this concentration in my face. Mm. I mean, maybe it's within that gardens area. up here that I've been in and looked at God knows how many times. If it was in here, it wouldn't be anything past that door, so it would have to be in this opening area. It's when I lose all the viewers because I'm just spending all my time trying to find a stupid switch. already got the lever in the water so I don't think it'll be in there the rest of the water I think is just a safeguard in case I fall off from the top guys are enjoying me pondering and working out what I'm trying to find. The Magnum Ammo was here. back of these statues. Uh, <laughs> 
There's always one bleeding switch, isn't there? One that gets you thinking. Can't find it. other potentials. Maybe there's like a, a hole in the floor or something that I've missed. Or another lever underwater, which I highly doubt. Right, so that's pretty much all of that area covered. Um, I can go into the I can go to the other underwater area. But I doubt there's anything here that to really be of interest to be honest because um, I mean that lever opened up this place here so I have, there's a air pocket up here Examining all the sides. I mean, I doubt that. I doubt it's in here. To be honest, I think this is just um, would literally just be a. Oh, might want to get some air first. Um, would just be that uh, hourglass. Nothing more. kind of makes sense to have um, uh, makes sense to have one one underwater wool lever one wall lever and one target Sure, they wouldn't have used two of the same type. Just trying to get comfortable. This is where I waste all my time. Going back up the top. Ouch. Let's 
There's nothing hidden there. There's nothing dangling or on a wall. The um, the head thing that I shot last time was quite obvious. It was a very bright uh, blue colour. So if it's one of those, it should stand out on the wall. Should I say? And if it's anything like those other ones, it'd be on the opposite side to where uh, the actual door is. this in here Shoot their heads, so I assume it's not going to do anything. No. By the way, I've still got that safe point which is at the top here without me wasting that ammo. Just here. <laughs> these wild animal calls I, mean, I haven't tried to go up there yet sure wouldn't get me anywhere. I guess there's no harm in trying. Did that again. Right, that's not happening. Is 
There's nothing of interest in there. Definitely nothing of interest in there. See what I can do in the next ten minutes. If I get nowhere, then do one of two things. Either Consult a walkthrough, which I don't really want to do, or just quit and come back again another session. It's like literally, it's 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 just one lever or one uh, thing to shoot that I'm after. don't see for the life of me the levers kind of stand out because they're like you know those golden stars see that stands out So I don't see how I can miss it. There's one of these hanging around here. I mean, of course, unless it's unless the thing, unless the thing I'm looking for to shoot, is not what I think it is, and that being the same thing that I shot earlier, uh, which is the equivalent of the Tomb Raider: The Last Revelation, so little gem things that are stuck in the lion's mouth. See, I can only imagine it being on a top, on the top level. I might be, this might be where I'm going wrong, and it's somewhere lower down. But if it is lower down, there's not really much space to uh, to go unless it's in the water. There's only really that kind of walk, that gangway there.
scour this scour this lower level again and then there's the lower lower level which is here which I'm highly doubting there's anything trees are just in case nothing on those walls and these here are nothing I think it may look like I'm giving up for the night because <laughs> I'm not having any joy here. And probably a waste of my time and your time just standing around trying to look in the same places constantly. There's no point in me just constantly scouring the place and have people watching me do nothing because that's just not entertaining. nothing along these edges not that I can see get this level done I know what I'm gonna use uh, see if I can find should be a walkthrough on it somewhere.
Oh. So it's on the upper floor. Okay. Yeah, I know. Right, so it's on the upper floor. Apparently there's a roofing. Have a look, which one am I facing? That's east. That's north, so I think I want to be going north. Um, For the windows, stand jump bridge. Okay. Interested. Um, so by the sounds of it, I'm going this way. And dying. Can't do that. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Right, so it says something about going on the chandelier on the north. And using That's not going to get me anywhere, is it? Right. Go out to the pool and to the right, follow the ledges round to, op uh, to the open crowbar door. Up the stairs, hoist up, climb in the window, and stand jump to the bridge. Use the chandeliers to get to the north side bridge. Oh, I guess I'm actually aiming to go the other 
um, over here. This is to the east, right? Yeah, that's to the east. And then jump to the roof on the north side, so I wouldn't be going, I guess, over here. I guess that's a roof. not exactly I don't even know what that... <laughs> I'm trying to read the guide on how to do this and it doesn't make any sense. Um, it says... Um, right. So I was on the bridge. Use the chandeliers to get to the other north side bridge. Go right to the end on the east and get onto the chandelier and then jump to the roof north. Grab the edge, shimmy left, round the corner, pull up. Jump, roll, backflip to grab the next roof. I can't see two roofs that are um opposite each other like that. Oh my word. Should I probably just do a stand and jump onto here, I guess? Right, there's no roofs opposite each other there. So that's going to be a pointless task. I really don't get what the walkthrough is actually trying to tell me. Whatever it's trying to tell me, I should spot. I should spot the lever. Facing that way, that's west. 
That's east. That's the roof to the north, or at least I assume that's the roof to the north. Assume these aren't chains that I can climb. No. That's the that is a roof to the north. But it doesn't offer me any thing climbing. The only thing I can think maybe that's the only thing that's got an opposite. I don't really need to do a back jump onto that. I am so confused by this um, this thing. Right, so over here, down there is the crowbar door this I assume is what he's or they he she whoever is calling a bridge So out of the window, which is just here, right. and stand, stand jump to the bridge down there. Right, okay, I'm there. Right, use the chandeliers to get to the other north side bridge. Wait, is it the black arrow? Am I maybe meant? To, am I maybe thinking the wrong thing? That's the north side bridge. Okay. Right. Use the chandeliers to get to the other. Ugh. I'm not doing any good at this uh, this jumping malarkey. I think I was just reading the compass wrong. this bridge right so use the we'll use the chandeliers to get to this north side bridge okay go right to the end east and get onto the chandelier and then jump to the roof north grab the edge shimmy left So we're going oh, for frack's sake. Actually, do I not? Hmm. 
No. Let's use that one. Let's <laughs> try the um the short jump method. She doesn't want to jump. So this chandelier here, we're going on to that. North Bridge. I wonder if it's I wonder if it's hanging on that wall there that I can't see. So let's save my game. I probably don't even need to um Okay. It was there. And that was one of the things I was going to try earlier, but I didn't, because I was a fool. Right, okay, I cheated, okay? I cheated. But we can progress now. So that's a good thing, right? Although I do feel bad, I shouldn't have cheated. Right, I'm pretty sure I can't actually get onto the chandelier. But I will. Right. No more looking at that thing. Ouch. At least I might get around to finishing the level now. Hopefully, within the next forty minutes. That don't work. Not sure why it says to um, to do a roll backwards kind of. Oh, I guess climb up and roll backwards, but that just seems pointless when you can just do this. doesn't help that I was reading the compass wrong and looking at the wrong colour for the arrow. <laughs> That's just me being an idiot. And to be honest with you. I can't actually remember the last time I needed to use a proper compass. Probably back when I was at school. Back at 
school was I don't know how many years ago. Right, what we Oh, hello. Right. Let's save my game first. And now let's try. Yikes. Right, that won't work. In here. I think if I drop down one, yeah, there we go. Shimmy my way, yeah, shimmy my way around here. Interesting. Okay, I did make that, thankfully. And that looks like a climbable over there. Interesting things lie in this place. Kind of cool. But let's hope that it's not timed.
Thanks, Fiery Wisp. <gasps> Shite. Oh my word, you stupid wispy... Wrong one. <laughs> I thought the water was closer. <laughs> Hang on, did he just disappear like as soon as we hit? Ah, cool. He's gone. Right, so now we've got all the hourglasses. And that was the equivalent of the wisp. in these last two. Clonk. And clonk. Got half an hour. See if I can get this level done in half an hour. Sesame. Do, 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 do. Dum, da, dum, da, dum. Don't want to watch that cutscene again. And now that we're over here, all right, let's make my way up here. Hopefully, we find the brothers in a bit. Uh, in a minute, sorry. these valves. What's the worst that can happen? So we 
done with those valves. Uncovered a new path. Is that water? I think so. Yep, it's water, and then we have our favourite, which is lots of hot lava. Use up some bread now. Can't be doing too much of that. Right, let's eat the bread. Let's equip my staff. Load the game. We're going to go with this. Bread. Water. Up. And save here. So I'm all cleaned up and ready to go. Stop, I guess. I'm actually, going to use pistols quickly. Pop this. that in hand, I can save my game, quit my staff. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Ah, 
Okay. <laughs> that was fun. At least I had all that ammo for the um, Magnum. Good dog, boom. This the uh, have I forgot to pick something up? I don't think I did. Save that in there anyway, just in case. Dangerous light. Right. I still have this, Sands of Time, so I have a feeling that's got to go in that spare light socket thing. Either I've got to be really close. Oh, there we go. Or like with the people. Got to be far away. Or do I have five? Five shots of that. Oh my word, don't want to waste ammo. been shot five times with that. Let's equip.
I'm just standing still like an idiot. Okay. Let's ignore that. Let's load my game. Let's go straight for the buttons. I have a feeling we may just have to destroy something. So it might just be a case I've got to avoid him. Because I saw a button. I'm gonna go left because I know where the button is on this next one. This one, and you're here. Save. <laughs> That's all the buttons pressed. Oof. this I guess save ah, splat
I don't know how I've managed to do that. Also, to be honest, I could use that other move. This one. Probably the better way to do it. And uh, there's the brother. Someone's taking his shirt. How oh, hush. Is that... I don't actually have to defeat that guy. So there's um, Thingy and her brother. Reunited, finally. And that, I believe, is the end of the level. Which is perfect timing because it gives me 10 minutes to spare. And yes, I did cheat on that one bit, which I regret because I should have just. I, I could have quite easily have just checked that. And I very nearly did. I just looked around the sides and just didn't see. Chink, chink. Oh, hello, Mr. Smiley. See, after all of this, it's all about this guy. Okay, that's um, the tale of the lost brother. Um, if you wanted to miss any of the video, you want to check out. Um, the level yourself then I'll put a download on my YouTube channel um, so I'll upload the video in just a bit and then uh, the download link for the level will be on there. Uh, the next thing I'll probably stream as I said to Mr Xenomorph uh, would probably be Alien Isolation at some point so um, I want to continue with that um, I might just do maybe a, another evening or something just playing that game. Um, and I've got one more of these uh, back to basics that I want to do, which I've got saved up, uh, which I will get around to doing at some point very soon as well. So thanks for joining me, checking this out, and I shall see you guys later. Ciao.